hi and welcome back to my channel so today we are in a totally different setup because i'm going to be doing another how much is my makeup collection worth so i did one of these videos in january 2020 so a year ago and before i started to downsize my makeup and beauty collection which i started in the early state of last year i wanted to see how much do i have and compare it to this year i will link the video down below that i did last year and also put it here so you can see the video that i did last year the amount is still ridiculous it's way too much for one person and that is the whole idea for this video and downsizing my makeup collection because i have way too much but today this is going to be fun because we can compare what i used to have one year ago and what i have today so let's start this video so we can see how much products do i have in each category and what they are worth so let's start <laughs> And before I start this video, you may be curious why do I have this much cosmetics? And there is many reasons. I love makeup, I love skincare, I've also written a beauty blog, fashion blog since I think like 2014, 2015 also done instagram now youtube and all of that has been beauty related i've also worked in makeup industry beauty industry in a beauty store for two to three years i've also accumulated a lot of products from there also from my blog and youtube i have also bought a lot i'm also a hairdresser and hair barber and i also do some freelance makeup jobs here and there. So I definitely have a lot of places where I get cosmetics and I also buy a lot. So I'm going to bring three categories at a time in here. So the first three categories are going to be body, skincare and nails. So I'm going to bring every single product that I have in that category over here. So let's bring all the products. So here you can see all the body products, all the skincare and all the nail products that I have. Last year all of these three categories were so shocking to see on these blankets but this time I'm definitely so proud how much have I used in a year. Because the skincare section and the body section and the nail section looked terrible last year. Of course, I still know like this is way too much. And I thought I would have used all the skincare like extras in this point, but no. There are quite a lot of products and I still won't need that much, but I'm trying to use them up slowly to kind of make myself aware how much does it take time to use up products so i won't end up in the same place like five years from now so that's why i'm not throwing like everything away the body section is definitely looking much better than it did last year i mostly have like sunscreens and lip products now i know i don't have everything here oh lord okay now there is everything so i definitely forgot to put all my perfumes there so now there is all of my perfumes and for my guesses if you watched the earlier video you know that at this point i'm going to guess what each category is worth then i'm going to count every single product and we get the prices for each category so i'm going to guess the nails are 600 the skincare is like 650 and the body products 700. So those are my guesses and I will be right back to see 
And all of these categories are work. So let's see soon. So we are back. So the numbers are body products. 47 body products, 896 euros. So I was kind of a little bit off, like 200 off. Skincare, 36 pieces, 1,345 euros. That is quite a lot of euros. Then for the null products, 113 pieces, 710 euros. So I kind of wasn't that much off. So these three categories were around three and a half thousand euros. So that is definitely way too much. And if I would mention a couple of my favorites, the Olivia Klein Hydra Toner. This is my favorite toner of all time. Also from Olivia Klein Hydra Lotion, my favorite daytime moisturizer, and also my favorite oil when I'm breaking out. The bomb bomb little miracle rose hip oil. So the next three categories that I'm going to be bringing here are my morning routine, what I carry in my bag, and my nighttime routine. So let's bring them here. You might be like, why is this empty? I will explain it really soon. Let's start with the nighttime routine. So normally nowadays I just wash off my makeup with an a solid makeup remover oil. I use my forehead with some cleanser. I of course brush my teeth. I use a moisturizing toner, eye cream, moisturizer, and because it's winter time, also use oil and some lip balm. And that is basically what I'm using at the moment. And then what I carry in my bag is actually only two products. So I always carry with me a breast powder and also a lip gloss. And the breast powder is also kind of handy because there is a mirror so you can put on the lip gloss. But then if we get to the morning routine, I basically use these same products. So of course I brush my teeth, I also use lip balm. And I basically use the same products, so the Olivia Klein Hydra Spray Toner, the eye cream, and Olivia Klein Hydra Lotion. So that is basically my morning routine. And if we compare these to what these were last year, I kind of didn't even bother to put on makeup on the morning routine because that would have been a lie. So let's bring out the next three categories which are face, lips and eyes and from those I mean makeup. So let's bring all of that makeup here. So here I have all the three makeup categories, so face, lips and eyes. There is quite a lot of products though, but this is definitely not looking that bad as it did last year. And now they are looking like this. The lips are definitely looking much better than it did last year. The face is still kind of like, ah, uh, but... The eyes is getting like better and better. There is still a lot of lashes that I'm not even wearing, but definitely like half what it used to be. So I'm super proud of that, but this is still so much more than I need. But let's do some guessing. So I think the eyes are going to be like a thousand euros. The lips 900, the base is definitely going to be way more, 2500. And we have a little visitor over here. So I finally summed every single product together. Let's start with the base makeup. 163 pieces, 3517 euros. So I was basically thousand euros off. Then for the lips. 
I can <laughs> then for the lips 109 pieces 1793 euros so I was kind of like it's almost double so I was way off and then for the eyes 142 pieces 2229 euros so way over what I ever guessed so all together, all of these three makeup categories are going to be 7,539 euros. That is insane. And that is 414 pieces. And then next up, I'm going to show you my three favorite beauty products. So let's go see what those three products are. Shall we? Yes. Yes, we should. And here you can see my three favorite products from kind of like in all categories. So definitely 2020 skincare has been a huge part of my beauty routine. So this has definitely been something that I absolutely love. And this is my top one toner. So this is Olivia Klein Hydra Spray Toner amazing ingredients, amazing for my skin, super moisturizing. Then also a newer favorite. This is SS foundation, mine is in the shade F2 and this is just brilliant. This is a foundation that has skincare benefits in it. So this has skincare ingredients in it and it treats your skin while you are wearing your makeup. Amazing ingredients. This is really easy to put on with your fingers. It looks gorgeous, like one of the best looking foundations I have ever tried. And the color is also amazing. And then the last product is kind of random, but when I cut my hair short, I've been really enjoying doing kind of like the curly girl method. So I really have been loving this and I'm almost out of this. So this is KMS. Hair Blade Styling Gel. I have been absolutely loving this. And next three categories are going to be the last three categories. And those are brushes, hair products and tools. So let's bring them here. So here are all the three last categories. So brushes, hair products and tools. So this is definitely gotten way less or the hair products certainly have. But I thought in a year I could use so much more hair care products. But definitely the hair styling products have gone a lot lower than they were one year ago. But the hair care products, there is still quite a lot of left. The hair tools are kind of looking the same as last year, except the Dyson that I got and the brushes. There is a little bit less than last year, but it's looking kind of the same. So for my guesses, before I count all of these together, I guess the tools are going to be like 800. This is definitely going to be a lot. 1000. And the brushes, I'm going to say 1000. So let's count all of these together and let's see what these are worth. I'm really intrigued to see. So now I have counted down all the last three categories and the numbers are brushes. 112 pieces, $1,420. So it's kind of like one third of hair styling products and hair care products. 63 pieces, 1038 Euros. I definitely want to use these up and only have like five products. So this is definitely way too much. Hair tools, 15 pieces, 760 euros. So these three categories all together are 3,218 euros. So that is 190 pieces. 
And last year I also showed you my makeup artist kit. It hasn't changed not even a bit during this last year because I was on my no buy. So I'm just going to insert the clip over here so you can see kind of what I have on my makeup and hair client kit because we are going to add that on these numbers. So enjoy the clip. So here they all are. So this is filled with makeup and here are all the backups and there is also darker colors and different kind of colors if I need something like that. These two are for skincare. There are some extra pencils, eyeshadows, lipsticks that I should debut. And in here there are all the base products backups. In here there is a lot of hair products. And then over here we have all of my tools. So these are the three categories. So that is basically all the products that I have. So if we sum all of these up, the makeup artist kit was 8,008 ,008 euros. And all the products that you saw on these mats were 13,708 euros. So that is 800 pieces plus the makeup artist kit. So if you put all of those together, that is 21,716 euros. So in 2020, the number was 29,118 euros. So we have definitely gone down like seven and a half thousand. So I'm really, really happy about it. But of course, 21,000 or kind of like for 13, 14, thousand dollars for myself is way too much so let me bring all the products up in here that i showed you on this video everything except my makeup artist kit Ta -da! here are all the beauty products that i have this is definitely way too much for one person but i will show you what this pile looked like last year so let's compare this pile to the last year's pile so this is definitely a lot less than it was last year so there is 800 products in here so that is definitely 474 product less than last year so this is definitely way too much for one person to have and that is the whole reason for this video. If you have even somewhere near to this number of makeup and beauty products or even more or like one third of this, it's way too much to have for one person and that is the thing that I have learned during the last one or two years. I want to have so much less products because this amount of beauty and makeup products is just ridiculous so if you're buying new makeup new beauty products all the time and you have already a lot of beauty products start using what you have make the most out of it and stop buying more and use the products before they go bad because makeup goes bad so quick so that was basically this whole video hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you had fun watching this and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you certainly should do that i do beauty and minimalism content here on my youtube channel so subscribe hit the thumbs up button and hopefully we will see on the next video Bye!